here we go. In today's video, we're playing with our new toy, an oxyacetylene torch that should get up to 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, the hacksmith made a lightsaber and we were jealous. We don't quite have his engineering <laughs> skills, but I do know of a way to get approximately the same heat output or maybe even a little bit higher. And it just involves buying an oxyacetylene torch instead of engineering and building an entire functional lightsaber. We're not doing that. We have an oxyacetylene torch and we're just going to be playing around with it today to see what stuff we can melt with it. And I think it's everything. 5,500 so degrees is pretty fun, guys. We've never had a torch this strong in the studio. With our foundry, we've been using propane and propane in the foundry gets up to about 2,200. If you were to add pure oxygen into that, you can get higher temperatures. We didn't do that. We had oxygen in the air being mixed and that got pretty hot. And we've been able to melt a lot of stuff. Steel, we've never been able to melt. We could get it orange hot and uh, malleable but we couldn't melt it now I think we can at least in somewhat small quantities we have a lot of things to test this out on mm -hmm. so we should really get started okay let's start with something I think it might be able to melt this is what's colloquially known as a marshmallow um, it's a confection popular in America especially for roasting over the fire and putting on graham crackers with chocolate um, I assume most of you know that. If Callie can refrain from eating it all, we're gonna see what happens if we hit it with our torch. <laughs> so we're gonna start with just a little bit of acetylene. And this stuff by itself will burn a lot, but it will not burn clean. It's gonna be a very orange flame with tons of black smoke and soot. There you go. But now we're going to add some oxygen into it. Now this does have the uh, propensity sometimes to make a, a loud popping noise if we get the mixture wrong and yeah. I will jump and scream. Yeah, if I do it wrong, it'll blow out the flame a little bit and then it will sort of reignite just some pure acetylene and it makes a very loud bang when that happens. Okay, here goes. And I think it's burnt. Nah, that's about right. So you like you have you have a red hot marshmallow. It's like carbonizing and peeling up in layers. Good. This looks like one of your carbon snakes. It really does. Looks like the other yeah, the demon. Yeah, the sugar in sugar demon things. Okay, I'm about to close it. It might make a popping sound. <laughs> it made a popping sound, guys. <laughs> that marshmallow is, I would describe, well done. Perhaps even a smidge overdone. You should try and take a bite out of it. I will not try and take <laughs> a bite out of it. That's actually kind of cool though because it was doing that thing where like the carbon forms like a foam mm -hmm. and then that actually protected it. Yeah, it was insulating a little bit so it didn't just blow right through it because it would form a self-protective barrier. That was fun. Yes. You want to try melting down an aluminum can? I do. And when I say you, I mean, do you want to do it? Yeah, I'll just jump a lot. That's fine. Just know that as you turn it off, the first knob, it'll pop. Now guys, I'm pretty familiar with a much smaller version of one of these torches from metallurgy class. There you go. Keep it going a little bit. Keep it going. Stop. You could go a little more a than little, that. A little, but I like that point. Okay. We're going to run with that. Ready? We're just going to see if we can just cut through it. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> gorgeous, just gorgeous. All right, what's next? We've got some steel bead chain, glass, ceramic, a little Lego figure. Let's make some lava and lava. pour it on Kay. the Lego figure. We've got some lava rocks when we can try and melt it down in this crucible. This yeah. crucible is made of graphite and even if this torch is getting as hot as it theoretically can, it should not melt the graphite. The graphite doesn't melt until I think around 5,900 Fahrenheit. And in theory, this torch gets to uh, 5,500 Fahrenheit. So we can put some lava rocks in here and try and melt it down and see if we can turn it into What I would like lava. to do 
you want to drop him in? I want to drop him in some lava, guys. He is our victim for the day. Smoky dragon breath. It is already melting the rock. I just don't want it to heat up the attachment so much that it like melts the solder. I don't know if it's going to work in the cup. Let's take it out of the cup. Good. Look how fast that starts to liquefy. Pretty. Pretty. Guys, there's something I like more than fire. Lava. Okay, well, I'm probably ready when you are. We've got enough that it's starting to run in places. Perfect. Three, two, one. <laughs> Instantly lit on fire? Yeah, and fell. <laughs> oh, poor guy didn't like that very much. You were the chosen one! Well, now we've got a couple of chunks of glass, which is also going to be just so it, pretty. It should be similar to the It'll lava rock, actually, which is kind of just like a bubbly, aerated form of glass. But let's find out. Here we go. Also, might just crack a lot. Snap, crack a lot. Yeah, oh, it's cracking ow. a lot. Okay, never mind. Bad never plan, mind. Bad plan. <laughs> It gets really hot and then cracks and sends shooting bits of hot glass everywhere. <laughs> Weird, who could have predicted this? Can't believe I didn't see that coming. All right, we've got an aluminum bar, slightly yep. thicker than our aluminum can. Should last at least one second longer. Okay, aluminum bar, let's see how you do. One, two, three, four, five, it's six, dripping. seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> we got 10 seconds before blobs of it started falling onto the ground. <laughs> nope, change my mind. This time it is melting. Instead of, that actually melted the magnesium instead of igniting it this time. It might have been just the amount of gases that we were flooding it with. It wasn't getting what it needed to light. We, I mean, most of our experiments with these, we've just... Heated. Used thermite. Uh-huh. Just That's poured. fine. Everything else worked great. I'm still pleased with how this went. I'm kind of afraid to try the ceramic because I think it's going to do gonna the same pop. thing as the glass. Yep. It's going to get hot and then... But uh, we have some bead chain here. I'm going to see what happens if I can attack that. It should be steel. If we were more protected, if we had, you know, full arm and leather aprons and welding glasses, okay, sure, then maybe we would do the ceramic. But the glass has already popped. It's already uh, hit a couple of us. I don't want to have it hit anybody else. Guess we're also testing the brick. <laughs> oh, we're melting steel. That does not take a lot of time. That is gorgeous. Some nice puddled steel there. And steel likes to spark when it's liquid. Which is gorgeous, but also, yes, please back up, Mark. Ooh, that Whoa. is glowing very bright. Wow, that's pretty. Well, it got through the, the little steel ball chain, uh, the aluminum, very easily. It was destroying the glass, not in the ways we wanted, though. We melted rock very quickly, turned it into lava, and we barely managed to roast a marshmallow with it. Now we're gonna take this eighth inch thick walled steel pipe and see what damage we can do to it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's warping, eight, nine, ten, fully red hot, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whoa! So bright! Guys, we've got the acetylene torch. We can use it in other fun ways. If you've got things you want to see us try and melt down or burn with it, please let us know. We'd love your ideas. Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got new great stuff coming out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on a great video. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.